What's going on, Radar Force? I finally filmed that video of my complete collection. Today, you're going to witness that video. It took me a while. I'm not sure how long it came out yet. I have to edit it, but my God, there's a lot of stuff to cover. Over a thousand individual items. I went over as fast as possible and I didn't get into too much obscurities, but I did explain what you needed to know, I guess. But I didn't go into it too deep. But anyways, you can be the judge of that. But here it is, complete collection. It is filmed. Until then, check this video out. Enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, we're going to start with the VHSs, which are at the top of my shelves as seen. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not going to go too far in depth with this but I am going to cover it all as fast as possible um, if you would like I'll probably do a more in-depth video of everything in the future but for now I'm just gonna go over um, everything and then the obscurities I'm probably gonna just pull out and show you guys where they are but as far as the bulk I'm just gonna roll through it um, as you already know I have many videos on the VHS so you could follow those guides as well but this is gonna be the ultimate one as of now Okay, so we're going to get started on the VHSs, and we're going to start with the Saga of Goku here. There are uh, basically two releases for the Saga of Goku uh, that I consider um, for a complete uh, U.S. collection. Um, so the bottom one is the Saga of Goku box set. It comes with uh, volumes 1 through 6 of the Saga of Goku, along with the Curse of the Blood Rubies, um, edited feature film. All of these are in edited format. Um... Released by Kidmark. The top row, I call them the, the blue VHSs. And uh, I believe all the blue VHSs were rentals. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I there's no real clarification out there for that. Um, as far as I know, uh, um, Volumes 1 through 5 and the Cursor to Blood Ruby's movie was released in with, with a blue VHS. Volume 6 is yet to be seen, and I honestly don't believe it exists because... Um, all the other issues were released before Volume 6 came out. Moving right along, um, we have the Tournament Saga, uh, which is only released in Uncut, and this is when Funimation began releasing uh, Dragon Ball. Um, I just have a spare, a separate Uncut on top just to um, get rid of emptiness in the spaces. Okay, so the next saga we have is the Red Ribbon Army Saga. Um, I'll quickly go over this one. Uncut released um, the full saga with five tapes. The edited only released the third and fourth tape. Um, the thir the fifth and final tape of that saga and edited, I believe, did not exist. Um, and the first two um, definitely did not exist. And uh, I created the uh, last one to finish the image. Um, so that does not exist, so don't um, mistake yourself for that. Uh, next saga we have is the General Blue Saga. It also has an incomplete saga the first and last tape were released in uncut and on edited the last tape was released i went ahead and completed the artwork with the two middle tapes in the uncut and the first three in the edited next saga we have is the commander red saga um both fully released in uncut and edited next are the fortune teller baba saga both uh, fully released in uncut and edited uh, last saga of, of Dragon Ball that was released was the Tian Shinhan saga, although it only released the first tape in both uncut and edited. The last five are fan made by me. Then we have the King Piccolo and Piccolo Jr. Uh, sagas here, but uh, all of that is custom made by me just to fill the spaces, uh, not official releases. Okay, now starting with Dragon Ball Z, we have the edited Saiyan Conflict Saga released by Pioneer. Uh, again, I just bought another set to sit on top to um, um, get rid of the empty space. This saga was only released and edited, no uncut. Next, we have the Namek Saga. It has the same fate as the Saiyan Conflict Saga, only edited, released by Pioneer, no uncut. Then we have the Captain Ginyu uncut and edited box set. And all of the DBZ sagas except for two have box sets. Just keep that in mind if I don't say box set. Uh, Captain Ginyu, uncut and edited box set. Frieza, uncut and edited. Garlic Jr., uncut and edited. Trunks, uncut and edited. Then you have Androids, and then In Perfect Cell, uncut and edited. Okay, next we have the Perfect Cell, Perfect Cell Saga. Now we have the Cell Games, uncut and edited. 
Although the So Game Saga did not release a box set, I created box sets for them. And I didn't, I failed to mention earlier that um, all of Dragon Ball did not come in box sets except for the Saga of Goku. I created custom box sets for those sagas. Do not be misinformed. Same goes for the Cell Games. Um, so now, the Cell Games Uncut released all nine VHSs, while the Edited only released the first five. So, the last four tapes in the Cell Games did not exist. I created the customs to fill that gap. Uh, now on to the Great Saiyaman Saga. Also did not come with a box set but did finish releasing the five tapes in that saga for both uncut and edited. Then we have the World Tournament Saga, the Babri Saga, Majin Buu, Fusion, and Kid Buu Sagas, all released in uncut and edited format along with box sets. Now on to Dragon Ball GT. Okay, for GT we have uh, the Lost Episode Saga, um, uncut and edited. Although, as you see, the uncut has a misprint. The middle tape, which is Ruination, on the uncut version has a misprint. Uh, the spine creates the same image as the second um, tape. And uh, luckily, we are fortunate enough that the edited version corrected this mistake. And we have the rare, super rare, edited version of Ruination. Um, also, none of GT was released in box sets. They're custom made again. Uh, now on to the Baby Saga, uncut and edited. Super 17, uncut and edited. Shadow Dragons, uncut and edited sagas. And that concludes Dragon Ball GT. One thing to note that you obviously already saw, uncut and edited GT make the same images despite the misprint on the uncut and edited uh, lost episodes. Other than that, the art are the same for uncut and edited. Now on to the movies. We have Dragon Ball The Magic Begins. Uh, I went ahead and put Curse of the Blood Rubies here, although it is in the Saga of Goku box set. Then after that, we have the regular Sleeping in Princess Devil's Castle. It says the movie uncut on the spine. Uh, then we have the edited uh, Sleeping in Princess Devil's Castle on the top. Then we have Mystical Adventure uncut and edited. The Path to Power uncut and edited. Uh, then we have the History of Trunks uncut and edited. Bardock the Father of Goku uncut and edited. Then we have the... Um, Dragon Ball Z Uncut Movie Trilogy with Dead Zone, Tree of Might, and The World's Strongest in uncut, dubbed format. It also comes with a poster and trading cards. And on top of that, we have the subbed versions of those tapes. Uh, there were no edited uh, releases um, released for this movie trilogy, but there were four subbed tapes. We have the Clamshell uh, Dead Zone. Then we have the Cardboard Sleeve Dead Zone, subtitled. Tree of Might, subtitled in a cardboard cardboard sleeve, and The World's Strongest in a Cardboard Sleeve, all subtitled in English. Now we have Dragon Ball Z, the movie box set 2, which comes with Lord Slug, Cooler's Revenge, and The Return of Cooler. This set did release an uncut and edited box set, as seen there. Uh, you can't tell unless you look at the spine, but I can assure you there are uncut and edited box sets for each. Then we have Super Android 13, uncut and edited. Uh, Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, uncut and edited. Bojack Unbound, uncut and edited. Uh, these are weird because they, um, the uncut versions from this point on are in, um, cardboard sleeves and the edited are in clamshells, as seen. Then we have Broly the Second Coming, which is the last, uh, Dragon Ball Z movie released. Uh, Bio Broly, Fusion Reborn, Wrath of the Dragon. I made those customs just to complete all the Dragon Ball, um, VHSs. Uh, then we have the... Dragon Ball GT, A Hero's Legacy, uncut and edited in the far right. Okay, last but not least, we're getting to the obscurities here. We have the Dragon Ball Z, The Arrival VHS Clamshell, which is the very first uh, VHS in Dragon Ball Z, which is in the same Conflict Saga, but they also released it in Clamshell. Um, as you can see, I have the Arrival box set. It comes with, a, I believe, a Super Saiyan 1 Goku figurine. You have to turn around to look at it. It's been a while. Um, these were released in by Pioneer and Advantage, which I believe is a Canadian company. I have both versions. Um, you can't. You might not be able to make it up, but Pioneer. This one is the same one as this one. I just have the box set facing forward to see the uh, artwork. Uh, then Advantage here. Here's the box set for the uncut arrival. The edited arrival by Pioneer. And then I have the edited arrival by Advantage right there. Then we have the Burger King Dragon Ball Z Z Wars Prepare. This one is you can tell it's the Burger King version because it does not have spine artwork like the 
one in the Trunk Saga. And then we have just a fun little auction artwork release for Perfect Cell Hunt for 18, uncut and edited. The uncut cover is different than the edited. And that covers basically all the VHSs. Okay, I totally forgot about these VHSs here. Uh, I don't really count these to a complete collection because if you do happen to find one of these in these um, shells or whatever, they are they have the same barcode, which means it's obviously the same releases. My thoughts behind this are they just got released in stores. Uh, they had extra VHSs that didn't sell. They made this up, packed some uh, trading cards in it, and sold the VHSs because... To my knowledge, the VHSs in here are completely random, although I do have a super rare one comes with the rare uh, original Dragon Ball Sealed. The rest aren't too rare at all. But these sets are hard to find, I think because trading card collectors freaking went crazy and wanted to get the rare sets. Uh, anyways, other than that, there's nothing special about it. They just look cool. Uh, I grabbed as many as I could when I saw them come up. Um, other than that, <laughs> they're non-existent now. One thing that I forgot to mention are the promo and screener tapes of Dragon Ball Curse of the Blood Rubies. Um, on the left is Curse of the Blood Rubies sample VHS tape or promo. Uh, it was released in 1995. Uh, in this tape, they call Goku uh, Zero. Uh, I failed to mention that this was not released to the public. Uh, this was given to VHS stores to promote Dragon Ball and in hopes that they would buy their VHSs. Uh, and beside it to the right is Car Curse of the Blood Rubies screener slash trailer. Uh, this was also not released to the public. And in this version, they actually called Goku Goku instead of Zero in the 1995 version. This is the 1996 version. Um, and yes, this was given to VHS retailers and stores around the world, I guess, around the United States, um, in hopes that they would buy their product. Other than that, that's, com that's all the VHSs released in North America. Okay, now I'm just gonna cover things the way my shelves have them displayed. Uh, starting off with the three Laserdisc and the only three Laserdisc released in Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball period, which are the Pioneer uh, movies, which is the Dead Zone, Tree of Might, and The World's Strongest. These are pretty hard to find, I will say that. And um, my uh, Tree of Might is actually sealed. Um, the rest are not, which I don't care for these being sealed, but they look sick, and I need to buy a laser disc player to play these, but I don't have one. On the next shelf, we have, um, well, first things first, I'll just talk about the uh, Dragon Ball Super box set, which comes with one through three. It was a Walmart exclusive, and it comes with that fig pin uh, figure of Goku there. Uh, next, we have uh, the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z comics. Um, neither series was finished um it finished about the same time the graphic novels did at about issue 10 of the graphic novels the comics went on maybe five or six issues longer than the graphic novels uh so just keep that in mind uh but here's the first issue and the last issue and right here i just have um the comics it's a four pack it comes with the first four issues um i don't really count this for the collection but and, uh, but here it is, and you can tell um, this came in a pack because it does not have a barcode like on the other ones it has a barcode. So that's how you know if you have um, an original issue or one that came in one of these packs. One thing to note, I'm not sure how many of the packs were released out there. I've only seen the first one. I've not seen volumes five to the end. I don't know if that even exists. Okay. Um... Another really obscure release are these Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 1, Budokai 2, Budokai 3 figurines with a gameplay disc. To my knowledge, I'm not sure exactly what's displayed on this disc, but it's a very sick release, and uh, I just love the Budokai series, and the disc make them stand out so well. Um, super rare to get, so if you see them, get them. They're expensive and rare. Uh, continuing the comics down here, we have the graphic novel sets that I mentioned, 1 through 10. Um, these ended, like I said, about five to six issues before the comics. So the comics actually go a little bit further on. One thing that's cool about the um, comics compared to the graphic novels is the comics actually finished the Frieza saga where the graphic novels um, did not. Um, they only, it only got to like Super Saiyan Goku, but Goku did not finish off Frieza. Uh, anyways, proceeding. Now we have the collector's edition of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. It's volume one. Of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And to the right of that are the holographic volumes one of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. 
They are limited editions, not to be confused with the collector's editions. As you can see, these are extremely rare. Some of the rarest. As you can see, it's got a holographic foil, um, and it's numbered one through 5,000. This one is, I think it's 395 out of 5,000. This one is 1,400 out of 5,000. Super rare. And just to show you guys the collector's edition, which is, uh, these are less obscure than those. Uh, these are the collector's edition. Okay, now we have the well-known Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z manga box sets. These are the original box sets that came with the outer artwork slip. Um, I did not bother to get the re-release ones because it's literally the same thing with, um, without these. So I don't consider that for a complete collection either because it's the same release with less things. So this is the original sets uh, that came with the outer slip. Okay, next we have the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z Viz Big Editions. Dragon Ball has five issues. Dragon Ball Z has nine. Then we have, beside that, the Dragon Ball 3-in-1s. Um, like Japan, it's only called Dragon Ball. It did not split the series into two shows. It's one pure uh, show named Dragon Ball, I'll give it. Um, and these are pretty weird. These are less quality. As, the pages are less quality than these. I recommend these, although I do like that they kept the Japan Dragon Ball name continuous. That I really enjoy. Okay, next we have the Dragon Ball... Z color manga. We have the Saiyan arc 1 through 3, the Frieza arc 1 through 5. They did not release the, um, the rest of the show, the Cell saga and the Boo saga. They're not released. And beside that we have the Dragon Ball chapter books. Uh, this is kind of an obscure thing. Easy to get, but it has 10 issues. It's not even a comic. It's more of like a picture book. Uh, but mostly text. It's kind of lame. But there's 10 issues. I believe it covers the Saga of Goku and the Tournament Saga, I believe. And then that's all they released. And next in line, we have the that time I got reincarnated as Yamcha. Uh, now we're going with Dragon Ball Super manga. I have Volume 1 for the Loot Crate Edition, which is just the alternate artwork of the original Volume 1, which is right beside it. Then we have issues... 2 through 16 which is the current issue uh, I will show you these two real quick so this one is the loot crate um, version as you can see the artwork is indeed different than the original volume one um, so keep that in mind when you're collecting the Dragon Ball manga okay then we have Jocko the Galactic Patrolman issue one and the only issue then I have Dr. Slump 1 through 18, if you count that for your Dragon Ball collection. I recently in I recently uh, got them for my collection just because I want to read it. And that completes all the Dragon Ball manga. Okay, now to more popular releases of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball. We have the Rock the Dragon edition over here, which is, just contains uh, the Pioneer, all of Pioneer's um, dubbing. Then we have the Dragon Boxes, which is super iconic, uh, 1 through 7. All of mine are signed by the cover uh, character, a.k.a. Sean Schimmel, Christopher Savitt, um, and all that. Linda Young, everything like that. Uh, Damian Clark, all that good stuff. Uh, then we have the Blue Bricks, 1 through 5. Then we have Dragon Ball Z. We have Dragon Ball Z, um, FYE box set number 1. Uh, that contains um, uh, Seasons 1 through 9 in a box set. And then we have Dragon Ball GT Season 1 and 2. Now to some of the cooler sets, I think, anyways. We have the double packs of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. We have Seasons 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8 of Dragon Ball Z. All contained in the same orange brick sleeves. Just one sleeve instead of the individual sleeves uh, same sets though just different sleeves uh, then we have the complete series of Dragon Ball GT a uh, double pack then we have FYE box set for a Dragon Ball which was the 30th anniversary FYE release then we have FYE box set number two uh, also released in during the 30th anniversary of Dragon Ball Z then we have the Walmart exclusive 
Dragon Ball GT uh, Complete series, which is the same thing as this, except in a book format. It's also in a slipcover. It's pretty cool. Um, I put it beside the FYE boxes because it's the only um, box set that contains the spine image uh, like the other two. It blends very nice, so I like it. Then we have the 30th anniversary Walmart exclusive sets. We have seasons one through nine. It's the same as the orange bricks, except they have exclusive uh, cover, cover art differences, which is awesome. Then we have Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan DVD, Dragon Ball Z Broly three pack DVD, and then we have Dragon Ball Z movie three pack. We have Dragon Ball Z D uh, Battle of Gods DVD and Resurrection F DVD, along with the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods and Resurrection F Blu-ray version to the right of the DVDs. Uh, very sick releases. I Those are hard to get and is a must for me. I love the artwork they make. Okay, now we're getting into some of the obscure releases here. Uh, we have Dragon Ball Z, the level sets 1.1 and 1.2. Uh, discontinued after that, as a lot of you may know. Then we have the Amazon exclusive Dragon Ball... Uh, well, excuse me. Seasons 1 through 9 Blu-ray of Dragon Ball Z were not exclusive to Amazon. The box set was exclusive to Amazon. Uh, you could buy 1 through 9 in stores, wherever, pretty much. But the box set was exclusive to Amazon, which I have in wrapping because no need to watch um, 16 by 9. But anyways, then we have the new um, Seasons 1 through 9 still books of Dragon Ball Z, Blu-ray, 4x3, same as the 30th anniversary set, which I have not covered yet. But anyways... Then we have the newer releases, uh, seasons 1 through 3, 4 through 6, and 7 through 9. Three packs of Dragon Ball Z. I call these the Blu-ray Orange Bricks. Sick, right? I, I, I enjoy them, although people hate on them. But anyways, then we have Dragon Ball Z uh, still books for the movies. Uh, trunks all the way to Wrath of the Dragon. Most of you guys already know that. Then we have the Blu-ray counterparts to that, along with the Dead Zone from the PlayStation 3 uh, game. This was included in a PlayStation 3 game. I forget. Was it Burst Limit? I think it was Burst Limit. Um, I will cover that too. I have both copies, but for now, I'll just show you that. Um, that this one was released by PS3 first before all the rest came out. So that's kind of exclusive there, but they did release Dead Zone in the proper blue case there with the other ones. Uh, then we have... I'm going to get a little bit closer for this one because this is kind of where everything gets a little bit tight here. So... Here we have um, Broly 2-pack. I call it the Broly 2-pack. Um, kind of obscure here. It comes with uh, Broly Legendary Super Saiyan and Second Coming. I have no idea why they didn't include Bio Broly, but whatever. And then we have the Triple Pack, which is the same thing. It covers all three of them. Woo! This is also the same as the 30th Anniversary um, Broly Pack, except in Blu-ray form and without the 30th Anniversary slipcover. But... Side note, uh, here we have the Curse of the Blood Rubies um, dubbing of Funimation for the first time released in DVD format right there. Then we have the movie four pack released by Funimation, which contains this movie as well, along with the other three movies. Then we have Dragon Ball Z movie pack five, movie pack four, and movie pack four again, which contains all the DBZ movies. Then we have the complete um, movie pack, which contains all of these movies in Dragon Ball Z in one big pack which i prefer it is super sick then we have battle of gods resurrection f dvd then we have the super obscure and rare to find walmart exclusive uh movie double feature which comes with resurrection f and battle of gods in one pack uh i really enjoy that set it's pretty sick because it's rare i enjoy rare things here we have the magic begins um dvd here uh, there's also a VHS, which I covered earlier. I just didn't show the front cover. Same one. Then we have the remastered Magic Begins, which is called Dragon Ball Ultimate Edition. Where, there it is on the bottom. Super hard to find. Not Well, not insanely hard to find, but hard to find nonetheless. Then we have Dragon Ball Evolution DVD and Blu-ray. Then we have Battle of Gods DVD and... I mean, then we have Battle of Gods Blu-ray and Resurrection F Blu-ray, along with the limited edition Blu-ray of Resurrection F. And then, last but not least, on this shelf, we have the Walmart exclusive Best Fights. Which we got Goku. We got Vegeta Black Case. Super rare to find in, it, in the Black Case. Um, you can tell in the Black Case because there's different numbers down here and different text. So, so if you see right here, 
the black version only has the top number where the clear case version has another set of numbers uh, as you can see it's also clear and all of mine are sealed except for goku which i could get sealed but i haven't anyways then we have the piccolo which is hard to find gohan and then the villains best of villains now moving on to dragon ball z kai we have the double packs here seasons one i mean parts one and two three and four five and six they did not release 7 and 8 for some odd reason, and I believe these are Walmart exclusives. Now here we have parts 1 through 8 of the DVDs, um, and then the final chapters, um, parts 1 through 3. And here we have the Blu-ray versions, 1 through 8, and then the final chapters, 1 through 3. And then we have the season sets here, seasons 1 through 4, DVD and Blu-ray. Um, I really like these sets, although they don't have the Yamamoto score. I, I've never really cared too much about the scores, but yeah, people people obsess over that. And then I put Dragon Ball Super here. We have the DVD and Blu-rays, uh, parts 1 through 10. And then I have the Broly DVD. Then I have the Broly Blu-ray. Then I have the Walmart Broly Blu-ray with a lenticular cover. And then I have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook version of the Blu-ray uh, Broly. So, there you go. And I will be putting the uh, Dragon Ball Super um, limited edition pack on here on my shelf somewhere that comes out next week. So, keep that in mind. Okay, getting to the bottom of the shelves here. We have Vegeta Saga 1 uh, sealed with the figurine. Vegeta Saga 2 sealed with the figurine. Then we have Vegeta Saga 1 with all the DVDs. Vegeta Saga 2 with all the DVDs that were released. It on it only released the first two. Then beside that we have the first strike movie box set, which is basically which basically goes along with the Vegeta saga. And there you go. And then we have uh, Dragon Ball, the original DVDs. We have the saga of Goku released in a DVD box set, a two-part box set. And then we have the Dragon Ball single DVDs. Uh, the first release of Saga of Goku was only released in Australia. Although I own it because it finishes the set out real nice instead of starting with Tournament Saga, which is number two. But then you have the Tournament Saga, the Red Ribbon Army Saga, General Blue, Commander Red, Fortune Teller Baba, Tien Shin Han, King Piccolo Part 1, King Piccolo Part 2, Piccolo Jr. Part 1 and 2. That concludes the original Dragon Ball. We have the Saiyan Conflict Saga box set by Pioneer, the Namek Saga box set. And these DVD box sets from this point on copy the VHS releases almost to a T, slightly different. Then we have the Captain Ginyu Saga, which is oddly enough, the DVD version did not contain a box set. I created the box set um, using the VHS artwork to fit for DVD. Uh, and then we have a re-release of the Captain Ginyu Double Cross. Uh, the DVD inside is slightly different. I will show that real quick. Okay, as you can see, the original the original release has this bold text, and you do not see Gohan um, on Ginyu. And then the re-release has Ginyu and Gohan, uh, and the um, big text is gone. Uh, this is the re-release. Other than that, there are no differences on that DVD to my knowledge. Uh, then we have the Frieza Saga DVD format. Um, this did not have a box set either. I copied the VHS artworks and made a box to fit the DVDs. So you have the 10 DVD set here. Okay, now on to Garlic Jr. DVDs. This one did have a box set. Then we have the Trunk Saga. This was not released in a box set either. So I copied the VHSs once again and I included um, the History of Trunks movie as like the um, VHS did, I included that here. Uh, and uh, the Z Warriors Prepared did not exist um, in the North American releases, so I got the um, Australian version to match the VHS set. So uh, Z Warriors Prepare is actually included on, sorry, is actually included on a version of Prelude to Terror. Uh, this version here only has three episodes, as seen here. It has Welcome Back Goku, Mystery Revealed, and Goku's Special Technique. I, I included that in this in the box set here because Z Warriors Prepare in the VHSs actually contain the last two episodes in the VHSs. But 
on the DVDs, they actually re-released Prelude to Terror to contain those missing episodes. As you can see, this one has five episodes. Z Warriors Prepare and Goku's Ordeal are the, are the two missing episodes in that saga. So, very obscure and um, something not a lot of people know about. Okay, moving on from the Trunk Saga, we have the Android Saga, Imperfect Cell Saga. Perfect Cell. So next we have the Cell Games Starter Set. Um, the Cell Games and Great Salmon Sagas were actually starter sets. They only included, I believe, um, they included the first two DVDs. I know the Cell Games probably include the first two. I'm not sure about Great Salmon. But basically that, the starter set is kind of like the Vegeta Saga that you saw it on there. It can only contain the first DVD. These as well were like that. So you had to collect the remaining missing DVDs to put in your box. Uh, and uh, here you go. I have Cell Games and Great Salmon here. Moving on to World Tournament, Bobbity, Majin Buu, Fusion, Kid Buu, and that concludes the original Dragon Ball Z DVDs. Here we have the Dragon Ball GT Lost Episodes uh, DVD box set. Now moving on to um, the Baby Saga, which is unlike the VHS, it was an 8 VHS tape saga. It still is 8 VHS, uh, it is still an 8 tape saga or 8 DVD saga. It actually ends right here. But I don't know why they made it in two box sets. And then you have the Super 17 Saga that ends, which are just these two, like the VHSs. Then we have the Shadow Dragons right here. And then we have A Hero's Legacy, the movie. Then we have the Dragon Ball movies, which I call this the Fat Box, uh, the Fat Movie Box, which contains Mystical Adventure, Path to Power, and Sleeping Princess Devil's Castle in Uncut. Then we have the edited Path to Power, as you can see, it says includes edited version. Then we have the thin movie box right here, which contains the same movies as this one, except in thin little cases. Then we have the Dragon Ball Z Pioneer jewel cases, Dead Zone Tree of Might, and World Strongest. These actually come in like a CD, um, a CD type deal. Oop! As you can see right here, that's why they're called jewel cases, but slipcover um, holds them. Very cool set. I had no idea these existed for a long time, but I ended up getting them. Then we have the Pioneer Movie Box, which contains the exact same movies right there. Then we have Movie Box Set 1, and I mean Movie Box Set 2, uncut and edited like the VHSs. Then we have Super Android 13, uncut and edited. Bojack Unbound, uncut and edited. Then we have the Broly Movie Pack, which contains all three of the... Broly movies, Broly Triple Threat, that's what it's called, I forgot for a minute. That's the fat version, then we have the thin version, which contains the same DVDs. Then we have Broly, uh, I believe this is edited. No, sorry, this is uncut. The other one is indeed edited, I forgot about that. I forgot I bought two versions of the uh, Broly movie uncut, because it's included in the this box set, but it's in a black case instead of the original is released in a white case for the uncut that is then the edited is also released in a white case then we have fusion reborn wrath of the dragon um uncut only then we have bard out the father of goku uncut and then i have uh trunks remastered and bard out remastered as you can see here. And then I have the three OVAs, which I don't count for a collection because they're bootlegs, but, but yes, I have the three OVAs, The Plan to Eradicate the Saiyans, um, Episode of Bardock, and The Return of Son Goku and Friends. And then beside that, we have the Dragon Ball Z American soundtracks. I have the original USA TV soundtrack for Dragon Ball. Then I have the rare, well, somewhat rare, Dragon Ball Z, um, original USA soundtrack. Then I have the Best of Dragon Ball Z Volume 1 uh, Limited Edition, which I will show you here. It says Special Limited Edition. Then I have Best of Dragon Ball Z Volume 1 Regular Edition. Then Best of Dragon Ball Z Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, Volume 6, and then Dragon Ball Z Boo, the Majin Sagas. Then I have Dragon Ball Z Trunks Compendium 
Compendium Volume 1 Limited Edition. As you can see right there, Special Limited Edition. And then the Trunks Volume 1 Standard Edition, which is to the right of that. Then I have, if I can show you, I have Android 18, the Android Sagas. Then I have these super rare, obscure Dragon Ball releases from the Fruit Baskets that just contain trailers of said episodes. I will get them out. And these are all the same. Um, they just have different like text and everything. So I just got all three versions. So it includes a uh, sneak peek of Dragon Ball GT. See, the top of this one says special value. This one says special value, but with a weird background. <laughs> so I got it. And then this one says $14.99 value. So I, it's, I just got all three versions because I saw that multiple versions existed and I am a freak. So that is that. And that, in, that concludes the CD soundtracks. Okay, before I get to the Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z games, I wanted to finish covering the media side. So here we have the 30th anniversary Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays. Uh, I got the figurine box, the figure, the Blu-rays there, the certificate of authenticity in a frame that I found, and then the art book behind there. Then I have the Dragon Ball the Complete illustrations and a visual history, along with the four Dragon Ball Z games that come with exclusive uh, DVDs inside them as you can see limited edition DVD inside all of them contain the DVD then I have the super rare Dragon Ball GT mini disc um, we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku version Trunks version uh, Baby Vegeta and Piccolo version um, all of mine contain the uh, original stickers in them as well these are super rare then we have the Dragon Ball Z Journeys, which contains the first and the last and first episode of Dragon Ball Z and GT. And then we have the extremely rare Best Fights DVD, which actually came in a, a Dragon Ball Z game, which I'll get to later. But this one was actually, I'm not sure how you were able to obtain this one because in the game it just contains the disc. This one is released in these in this um, disc slider thing, like Dragon Ball Z Journeys, whatever you call them. Then we have Dragon Ball Z epic battles um, that you could get when you pre-ordered Budokai 1 either in the GameCube or PS2 version and then to the right of me is this super obscure epic battles in a GameCube disc but it's, a, it's called a mini DVD kind of like these I'm not sure how you obtain these actually uh, this one is extremely rare and it was given to me by a fellow collector to help me finish my collection if anybody knows how to obtain that let me know I at first we thought you obtained it from pre-ordering the GameCube version but, as you can see on the regular disc, it has a GameCube game on it, so I highly doubt that's the case. Maybe that was given to you in a magazine subscription. I have no idea, but if you do, let me know. Now on to the games. Okay, last but not least, we are covering the Dragon Ball games. So the first game is for the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, which is Dragon Power. Um, this game is actually the first Dragon Ball game released in North American, although it does not use Goku's sprite, it uses a weird martial artist, but it does have Goku and Bulma's name in there, so that's good to know. Then we have the PlayStation 1 games, Dragon Ball The Final Bout, um, first uh, initial release, and the alternate artwork released in 2004, which I'll show you right here. So this is the rare original cover. Then the easily obtainable uh, Final Bout version in 2004 re-release. Um, it the, the, the it's the same game but just different cover and different disc. Then we have Dragon Ball Z: The Ultimate Battle 22 for the PS1. Now on to my personal favorite, the Game Boy games. We have a Dragon Ball Z: Legendary Super Warriors for the Game Boy Color, Legacy of Goku 1, Legacy of Goku 2. Then we have the combo pack of Legacy of Goku 1 and 2. Then we have Dragon Ball Z collectible card game. Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu, Super Sonic Wars 1, Boo's Fury, which is a continuation of Legacy of Goku 2. Then we have Dragon Ball GT Transformation, which they say is a continuation of Boo's Fury, but it does not look the same. Then we have the combo pack of Boo's, of Boo's Fury and Transformation. Then the rarest to find Dragon Ball game, which is Advanced Adventure in the Complete Inbox. I heard that game is really good, I have not played it yet. Then we have Dragon Ball GT Volume 1 Game Boy DVD, which you can watch that episode on your Game Boy. 
Then we all have the PlayStation 2 games, which is Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Budokai 2, Budokai 3, Budokai 3 Greatest Hits, Infinite World, Sagas. Then I got the Dragon Ball Z box set games, which comes with Dragon Ball Super. I mean, Dragon Ball Z Super. Then we have Budokai Tenkaichi 1 and 2. Then we have the Super Rare Tenkaichi 3 for the PlayStation 2. I believe this is the black label, if I am correct. Yes, the black label does not contain the uh, DVD, which is in this one here. This one includes the bonus disc. That's why I got the Wii version, because I did not want to pay for the PS2 one twice. But this one includes the best fights, as I showed you up there earlier in the weird little rectangle sleeve. Then we have um, Dragon Ball Revenge of King Piccolo. Super fun game, I've heard. Then we have the DS games. Haru Kunaru. Uh, then Setsu, I think. And then Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. Super Sonic Warriors 2, which is a continuation of that Game Boy game. Dragon Ball Origins 1 and 2, which are super fun. Dragon Ball Z Extreme Batoden for the 3DS. And the Fusions for the 3DS. Now moving on to the PSP games. We have Dragon Ball Evolution, everybody's favorite game. We have Shin Budokai and Shin Budokai Another Road. And then the rare Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team for the PSP. And here we have Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. Uh, black label for the 360. And then we have the Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. Which includes an orange brick disc. Season 1. Episode 1. Or oh, 1 through 7, sorry. Includes the... It's an orange brick disc inside. Um, and when I was talking about the um, Dead Zone movie. Uh, Burst Limit in the, for the PS3 came with the blu-ray version because ps3 could play blu-rays so this is the box set for that for the ps3 that's why i have the all three versions because they're all slightly different in its own way um very sick release then we have dragon ball z raging blast one and two for the xbox 360 i don't have every alternate art like the ps3 releases because that would just be insane i do have some though but i'll and i'll get that in a minute here then we have Ultimate Tenkaichi, and then we have the Budokai HD Collection for the 360. There's actually two versions, believe it or not, and I'll show you that real quick. So here's the black label. I would call it the black label. There's no difference. There's no way to change this. But this comes with Budokai 1 and Budokai 3. And notice here it's only got uh, two bullet points here. On the other release, as you can always see, there's a slightly alternate artwork. It comes with different artwork, and you may be thinking, well, they're just reversible covers. Well, yes, they are, but the version I just showed you does not have a reversible cover. As you can see here, this has three bullet points, and it says Com collectible double-sided cover inside. The other one I showed you did not have that. So I have both of these displayed, so there technically is, as you can see, I'll show you again, two bullet points. So that one does not have the flippable cover, which is weird. Then we have Dragon Ball Z 4 Connect. <laughs> Then we have um, Battle of Z. Oh, this one is so dumb. This is your black label here. And then the other one, honestly, it's unnecessary, but I have it. It comes with, has a little uh, Naruto costume inside. Logo, so I had to get it. Then we have Dragon Ball Xenoverse um, pre-order edition. Comes with a still book, um, which is right here. Still book. And I think that was day one. Am I correct about that? Yeah, day one edition. Then we have Xenoverse Regular Edition. I got it for the Xbox One just because I'd rather have an Xbox One port. Xenoverse 2. Um, I believe that's just a standard port. Yes, standard port. Then we have Xenoverse 2 for the PS4. I believe this is day one. No, this is the Deluxe Edition, yes. So we have Xenoverse 2 Deluxe Edition. Then we have Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Standard. Then we have uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighters again for the PS4, which is... Fighter Z edition comes with a slip cover. Keep that in mind. Then we have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Standard Edition. J Stars versus Victory. I mean J Stars Victory versus the PS3. Then we have Jump Force Xbox One and then Jump Force Ultimate Edition for the PS4. This one's hard to get actually. So there you go if you even care. Then we have Jump Force Deluxe Edition for the Switch. Only released for the Switch. Then we have Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Standard edition for the Switch. Oops. Standard edition for the Switch. 
Then we have the Deluxe Edition, I think. Or, yeah, Hero Edition for the Switch. Only released on the Switch. And you may be asking yourself, well, that's not all the games are released. There's Collector's Editions. Well, yes, you're right. I have them over here because they would not fit. So here's all the figures for them said releases. I'll go over those in a minute. So we have Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 Limited Edition. Dragon Ball Z Fighter Edition, which also comes with the Day 1 Edition, if you're curious about that. Then we have Jump Force. Then we have Xenoverse 2, a collector's edition, which also comes with the Day 1 Edition. Then we have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Limited Edition. And here are the two handheld games for them. This is Dragon Ball Z Battle for Namek. Then we have uh, Dragon Ball Z the Plug and Play TV game, which is sealed in the box. It's hard to find sealed. Um, I need to buy one open so I can actually play that. <laughs> and here are the figures for them. We got the Jump Force, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Xenoverse 2 in the back, and then Fighter Z in the front. And that is it for my Dragon Ball Z collection. I, I will cover this real quick because I said I own some. So I have the on the GameCube versions of Budokai 1, 2, and Sagas. And I think I have a few extra PlayStation 2 ones. Yeah. Uh, I thought I had... Maybe I don't. Yeah, that might be it. But yeah, I, I own all the like Xbox, GameCube, and PS2 versions. Oh, wait, I do have an Xbox Sagas. Yeah, there it is. Dragon Ball Z Sagas for the Xbox. I own all the like Xbox, GameCube, and PS2 versions of the games because there's not many. But once you get the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Xbox 360, they were literally releasing for every console, so, so it's just not worth getting unless said console version has like a different release, like the burst limit had like a Blu-ray and all that but so yeah that's it for this entire collection video i went as fast as i could i'm sure it's going to be five hours long but i believe i covered everything dragon ball z wise anyways and i hope you guys enjoyed that and uh yeah and i have this shelf over here because it's a bleed off shelf <laughs> i gotta make room for the new game coming out next month and uh I will just show you. I got some Yu-Gi-Oh here. I got I got the Yu-Gi-Oh and all the manga for it up until well, I don't. I have a few GX mangas, but I don't really care about GX. Uh, I got Bakemon, Deadman, Wonderland, Avatar, Legend of Korra, Death Note, Transformers Prime. I actually really love that series. Some of the movies, some of Walking Dead here, and then my games. A few games, ranging from Sega all the way to PlayStation Four and all that. But yeah, I'm not gonna go into detail there. And if you guys want to check out my gaming setup, I posted a video not too long ago. So check it out. He goes over that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care and peace out. And subscribe if you like the content. Um, later, guys.